We'll call the uh, June 21st Airport Commission meeting to order. Roll call. Neil Johnson. Here. Greg Collier. Here. Andrew Barker. Joel Gardner. Here. Steve Smith. Bill Schoonover. Here. Greg Willoughby. Here. Minutes will be presented to the next meeting. Comments from audience? Well, you were ready today. Right? And some comments. I am ready today. Just wanted to let you know next month is Young Eagles event at the Springdale Municipal Airport. It should be July the 14th. And also to let you know that um, we've been working with uh, businesses in the area to get them to come in and use the conference center. So Tyson just held one of their big events there the other day, and everything went off really well. So just some feedback. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Wyman on the number five, airport operations and the activity report. But activity and the fuels was about the same. There's not much change in those. But I did put a picture in there that Jeff Manns started doing earthwork for his the six hangars that he's going to build. He's going to build them first and then build the corporate hangar second. There's some activity going on out at the airport. We, uh, if you remember a while back, the airport commission asked the city council to fund changing out lights at the airport to LED lights. Right. And we had a quote of about $60,000 to make that change out. But the council wanted me to get another quote from another company. And I called another company that we had used to do several other municipal buildings. They were a little bit slow, but it took them a while to get the quote put together. But basically, they're about 30,000, almost half of what the other wow. is. So the council approved that. So they should be starting their work. So he'll probably have to order the lights and do it. But the council did agree to fund it, but it'd be about a half of what we thought it was going to be. Worth waiting on. That's all of the, like in the terminal and uh, all of the hangers. And hangers, yeah. Good. Financial statements shows we're behind for the year, but that's but got grant expenditures that we're waiting for reimbursement on the, when the grant's running, we, the expenditures here is always hit before the revenue does. But we've still got pretty good balance in, in their account. Go to page 10. We got all the appraisals in on the property that we were looking at, uh, hopeful of eventually acquiring. If we acquire the first three properties, I think we'd have enough to build the terminal and the parking lot that we were thinking about. The first three appraised at 304000 If we buy the next two, that would clear that whole first block of Emma. It would be 611000 If we buy the two back on the Baggage Street, it would clear that whole city block, and that would be 768000 Right now, uh, we don't. Ha I don't know of any available. Pardon me. Funds to make that purchase, but we're ready when we come up with those funds. What's it going to take to get up to having those funds? Either piecemeal or all of it. Is there any? Uh, there may be an advantage to buy to buy it piecemeal. Right. Well, there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes that I'm not privy to all of it. Uh, we're looking at expanding the park over here and making some changes in it and we got a donation of three hundred thousand dollars to buy some property. For the park. For the park. So I mean if something like that happens we might go ahead and buy it. Uh, the CIP fund is got some money in it, but they've got a lot of different plans that might 
requires harder on Would it that not way? be worthwhile for us going to make a case how bad we need this and how the advantage it would be? I would have to, yeah, I would recommend we buy it in order because if we get the, the third piece and not the first two, we don't have access to it. So I've got them in the order that they're adjacent to the airport property. We could ask for the funds to buy the first one. First three. Well, that's if, what I'm talking about I right know, now. If if the first, if the second two agree and we buy them, and the first one says no, and we wind up going to court, you, it'd be three or four years before we. You you lost get me. Them. You lost me. Let's talk about that. Those first three. The right. 304,000. They're, they're listed in the order that they're adjacent to the airport. Okay. I'd recommend that we, if we get money, we approach the first one. If we. Being them, those first three. I know the first property. Which, yeah. which is, yeah. Just, the 304,000. Well, no, I, I would go to just the very first, oh, the 109,000. And, and if he's. I, in I'm, a, now I'm with you. He's in agreement. They haven't. Then we, we have go yet. to the second one and the third one. But if the first one says no, when we wind up with condemnation, or I'd, I'd stop there until we get it settled in court. We're kind of in a situation of chicken and egg because we the offers. Okay, let's think about this. We would need first of all before we made any of the offers to know the funds were available. Right. And then we could go make the offers on all three and make the offers contingent upon the others the or the order that we would have to purchase them we could we could do that yeah and you just say money. this is only valid if we can acquire this other property right and you can write it draw it that way but my point my question was should we not right now just go and see if we couldn't cover this first three hundred four thousand dollars with cip i would put in my request they might say wait two or three months or they may go ahead and fund it yeah. so I, I suggest we get on the agenda and go and say motion then if, if do i hear a motion to that effect i'll, I'll make the motion that we uh, uh approach the first three properties at 819 815 and 815 Point five East Emma uh, all at one time and uh, with the contingency aspect of the offer. Uh, oh, what about CIP? Approach CIP. Okay, appro CIP. I'm sorry, approach CIP. I was thinking the first step would be to go see if we could get the money and then go make the offer. I'll make that motion to approach CIP for the properties. I'll second it. Okay, any opposed? Any discussion? Let's have a roll call. Johnson. Yes. Collier? Yes. Gardner? Yes. Schoonover? Yes. Willoughby? Yes. And will, when will that next meeting, or when can we get on the agenda? First Monday in July. Okay. It's not work. Would you send out an email with the time and all that other stuff so that, I mean, I would like to be there for that discussion also. Yeah. We need. Send out a reminder. We need some handouts that would portray those properties either with aerial or. Uh, I've I've got a map that shows them that copy of and uh, give them this sheet also. Do we also need to show them how we propose to use the land, like with a terminal building on Emma access? We've got some. We got some that we can problem. include in the proposal so they can see why we feel like the land would be i think they're very familiar with that we don't have a uh, drawing showing the layout for with just these properties i think the drawing we had showed us having that prop that big vacant spot also this really complements the property we already own between the ditch and yes that would allow you to push this back to you can have all, all kinds of paving over on some of that other access and everything. Uh, yes. Uh, 
the the 801 is probably the least uh, needed. I'm, I'm not so sure what the 809 is. Which one is that? Immediately adjacent to it. Is it the store? The old store? Well, I think this. I think it is because it's 175. I think it's the, the old store. Yes. That certainly would be one to try to throw into this up here in the event we could get more than the 304. It would complement that too. Okay, well, we'll, we will do that. This is the first Monday of July will be what day? Is that the? Uh, second. That, the second, okay. All right. See page 11, we got $2 million in discretionary money, runway project, so we got a grant of $2.8 million We'll give a report you can do it later on. Yeah, while we're talking about it, why don't you just come on and finish that off? Yes, yeah, so I'll give the full report on that project. Uh, we opened bids about, uh, I guess, last Tuesday on that project. We had two bidders. If you remember, we actually bid this project in two schedules. Schedule one was just the pavement work. Schedule two was the pavement and the lighting. That was in case if for some reason the bids were high, we could at least get the pavement done and punt the lighting, but we were pretty confident we'd get both. Uh, and that was the case. I'll give you the, the bid numbers here. We had two bidders, Emory Sapp and Sons out of uh, Springfield, Missouri was low bidder at 2.182 million. And APAC Central out of Fayetteville was second low bidder at 2.386 million. Um, we have full confidence in the low bidder. Their stuff was good. They're actually the ones who did Rogers' runway closure last year. Uh, and so have no issue with them getting it done. Uh, they'll be teamed with Hutchins, which is out of uh, Cassville, Missouri, and uh, in Arkansas as well, uh, to do the asphalt on the job. So very good bids. Our estimate was $2.8 million, so they were both below our estimate. Um, and uh, we have used the low bidder's numbers, and we have put together a grant application, like Wyman said, to the FAA uh, to the tune of just a second, $2.188 million. Uh, so what the request was, not the request, but the award notice was what was programmed, what we could go up to for the project in case uh, the bids came in high. We obviously aren't going to need all of that money. Uh, so we will use the entitlement funds and the discretionary as needed to get the project funded. Uh, and uh, we'll be ready to move forward as soon as we get the grant offer, uh, which is the actual document that the mayor will sign uh, executing the grant probably in the next two to three weeks. Perfect. And just a reminder, our construction schedule, things won't happen right away. We'll right. Con execute contracts, and then we'll get into a procurement phase, get all of our equipment, and then next winter, spring, we'll start doing all the electrical work, getting the vault built, the home run back to the uh, runway. We're, we may even do some of the signage work on a pullback basis, working with tower, and then shoot for the June time frame for our um, two-week closure. And if it's like it was this year in June, it should be plenty easy to get it done in 16 days. So... Fingers crossed. Sounds good. Yep. Any questions? You want me to just give a quick Pappy update to you while I'm yes. up here? So just to put a bow on that project, when we came to you last week, the project was complete, or last month. The project was complete. Uh, however, we were having one issue where the Pappies were shutting themselves off in the field. I think James reported it last month. Brought the contractor back to the site, had him on the phone with the manufacturer, got it figured out, one of the plugs had fallen to the bottom of the cans that are in the ground and those cans filled with water every time it rains. And so uh, that plug was getting water. It was a communications line which was tripping the system. And so we got that fixed, resealed it, zip tied it to the top of the can. That way it stays above the water and they've been working ever since. So we've got all that information to uh, 
to Wyman to request your reimbursement on that grant, which is going to be $90,450. So that'll help your balance sheet getting that uh, request in. I think the only thing we're lacking is we need the contractor's W-9 form so the city can actually pay him his check. Uh, but uh, overall, good pro project within budget. Uh, and uh, the good news is the flight check, which you had to pay 100% of, was budgeted by the FAA at $11,000 and came in at $1,000. So <laughs> always good. <laughs> so you got a $10,000 refund from the FAA. Sounds good. All right. Thank you. And thank you. Well, I mean, uh, just, uh, you may have mentioned this, I'm sure you did in the past meetings, but there, did we ever get Gary Howard totally squared away and where are we at on that? I heard a little bit through the grapevine. Paid, paid some on it. I think they've served him with court papers. So that's still lingering out there. Moved out of the hangar. Airplanes. Okay. And I think James said he had people for the hangars. But all we're waiting on now is to go through the court on balance. Is that what we're talking about? Okay. That's the only question I had on that. Uh, any question for Wyman? We've already rented the his hangar. Okay. He leave anything behind? Did he leave anything behind from his hangars? So uh, he he sold his planes and cleaned cleaned the hangars out. Okay. We started uh, the process of enclosing that hangar. Uh, Get her on that. Doors and started doing some preparatory work to getting ready for. It. Good. Should be done within a month. <laughs> or the target date. Okay. The had a credit card reader table from the last meeting. What was this all about? I guess I'm update me. I really don't recall. I remember it coming up, but I can't remember what. What was the credit card reader for? I mean, the operating system that of the one we've got is going to be no longer supported. That we wouldn't be able to get a, a equipment or repairs on it. Time to upgrade it to a newer model. It's it's the gates to get into the onto the airport, isn't it? No, it's the uh, purchase to purchase fuel. Oh, that's right. At the, the, fuel, fuel, the, the fuel reader farm. on the fuel pump. Fuel, that's right. I'm sorry. Yeah, on the on the uh, self service. I don't really remember why we tabled it. I don't think we tabled it, did we? I thought we. Well, I guess we did. I think James was. Oh, James was going back to see if we could get the initial rebate. If we how could, long we if, could get. If that. we could postpone it for six months or something instead right. of doing it tomorrow. That's what it was. Yeah, I don't remember that. So no action required then. I think there was a timeline, maybe even a year from now, as far as was when the ten months, the, when think, the other support like that. was going to end. So we had a little time to to work with on it, as I recall. I think that's in James' hands. Okay, James on vacation. Ireland, that, he goes over there once a year. But I wish him well. Uh, we do we have anyone here representing uh, the restaurant on the signage today? There was a request for for some additional signing signage uh, on the southeast corner in the northeast corner of the airport. And uh, I think he was intending to use the sign similar to the one he's got on the smoker. And that's why he put the Yeah. And uh, 
I would just say my initial thoughts on that is I, I don't think that that's what the uh, uh, I think you'd open up a can of worms as to allowing that to happen uh, so I don't think it's really that big of an advantage either there's other lo geographic locations throughout the city that you could direct people to the airport for a restaurant and stuff so I, I agree with you I think if you want you start then everybody could potentially that's on the airport would want to sign and uh, you know I, I see that as a problem precedent more than anything I would I would say that what we're what, what would be sending back if we respond to this is the fact uh, nothing personal or nothing strictly for against this restaurant or anything but it would be uh, it would be across the board we would never allow for anything other than airport signage if we deemed it necessary like we did on the down on the southeast corner uh, we don't have anybody representing it requesting so I don't be here today but Hi, is going to be here we might ask uh, he was here last month actually and I thought we were, I thought it was resolved actually then but oh, was it I don't know I, I thought this is the first time we've talked about it I don't know was it even discussed last month I don't yeah was it? okay we decided to table it okay what, that's, what's everybody else's thoughts on this and we could we could uh, request a letter be written to respond to it in, a, in whatever we decide. I, I would only suggest that if we're going to open up the signage for one, we would have to open it up for everybody else. And unless we wanted to write a policy and or procedure that creates a money making venture for us, uh, where we charge them on a monthly basis, uh, the lease of that land and whatever regular signage rates are out in the community for billboard. Um, look at it as if one person wants to do it they got to pay the thousand dollars a month or whatever the heck it's going to be to have that sign posted turn it into a money-making venture and then let them decide whether it's uh, uh profitable for them to put a sign out there maybe a mute point anyway if there's a sign ordinance in the city that may not allow it especially you start throwing multiple signs up you also get in air spacing too if you put anything higher than that fence then we'd have to um, done a lot of work to make the airport look nice and I think if you've got four or five signs on the corner down there or to detract Buttered. it'll constantly look like election season I'm, I'm not in favor of it either I look, for, look like a ballpark advertising uh, I would I would ask for action a motion to deny the request uh, I would move that we deny the request I'll second it all in favor aye, aye. aye. All opposed we we'll just say got it in the minutes of that no need to notify or anything uh, the land acquisition being considered Wyman I think we've already discussed that uh, and you already covered your lighting request, right? Any old business? Comments from the commissioners? Uh, how much longer are we going to let Bill Duhame? His name seems to just regularly pop up as far as delinquent rent, and in light of what we've previously experienced, are, are we going to? take action on him pretty quick to try to get them get him totally current and which one are you referring to uh bill duhame uh 1307 and 1308 he's you know several several hundred you know 31 to 60. you know and and his name seems to continually pop up yeah you know, on the list is there anything we can do to encourage him to get current when we were talking about Howard I think we said that we were going to we 
put in place a notification right away before it reached this, didn't we? We already. I don't know which ones, but I know James has been talking to the city attorney's office about some others to refer to them. I think they send letters and contact him and stuff before they actually file suit against them. I don't know where the, what the status of those are. It seems like in that discussion, we decided that a letter would be sent before they reached the 90 days. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'd have to go back in the minutes and see, but we we had discussion when we were talking about the Howard event, which is probably five months ago when we first started that. Right. Uh, but we discussed about sending letters before they reached the 90 days. So, uh, and we also just, you know, I had discussion about amending our lease to the point where we can do things uh, that which is something that's probably we need to get a draft on or do something that would uh, change what is the our language. Number, what is our next step? Our number one step: first notification that you're late, and we're not we're we're going to be uh, forceful to bring it up to date. What is our first move? Have we been using James notifying them? Has that been the yes? Well, I, I think James was planning on this the letter coming from the city attorney. Okay. Seems to have more impact. It had more force. That's what I remember too. And I was thinking it was in the sixty time frame. 60 I'd say day we time need. Frame. I'd say we need to activate that uh, now. Uh, I believe he has been, but I, I don't know which ones he's. Well, he can speak. We'll be sure to put him on the agenda for next month to discuss that. And okay. Develop a procedure that we don't have to deal with every time. Uh, further comments, I want to, I want to apologize for my absence in the past few months, uh, and, uh, not really any excuses, but we, my wife and I both have been fighting some heart issues. So I asked to be, uh, I guess I'll use that as an excuse, but I really missed being here. You know, one time I was too busy and I just couldn't get here. So that had nothing to do with health or anything this last meeting i just could not be here but i want to apologize for that I'll try to make it uh, any other commission comments glad you're back if not we'll adjourn <laughs>